In this video, we will show how to replace the repair kit for the following Emerson TV model numbers. LF501E, M5F, and LF501E, M4A. This kit includes the following boards. A power supply, a main board, a keyboard, and the IR sensor. We have the images and part numbers on the screen. Before starting the replacement process, it is recommended to take photos along the way so that you have something to reference for seeing what the parts look like originally in the TV along with all the connections. Be sure your TV is unplugged. I will start by removing the back cover of the TV so that I can access the boards. I will start by replacing the power supply board. The first thing I will do is disconnect all of the cables from the board. Next, I will remove the screws that hold the board to the TV panel. After I have removed the screws, I can lift the board from the panel. Then I will take my replacement board, line it up correctly, and then screw it to the panel to secure it tightly. Then I can reconnect all of the cables. The next board I am going to replace is the main board. Once again, I will disconnect all of the cables and then remove the board from the panel by unscrewing it. When removing this ribbon cable, you will want to use your finger to flip up the tab and then lift out the cable. Then attach your replacement board to the panel with the screws and reconnect all of the cables. Once again with this ribbon cable, make sure the tab is flipped up, then slide this cable into place, and then lock it by pushing down the tab. The next board I will be replacing is the keyboard. The keyboard is located on the left hand side of the TV. I will start by removing the screws that hold the cover to the keyboard onto the TV panel. After I have removed the screws, I will lift up the cover and pull the speaker loose. Then flip the cover over and lay it down. Then lay the cover down in place, being sure not to pull too hard on that wire. Here we have the board with one wire connected to it. I will start by disconnecting this cable from the board. I will slip my finger under the board and then firmly push up to remove the board from the plastic cover. Then I will take the replacement board and push it into place and reconnect the cable. Then I can put the speaker back in place and reconnect the cover back to the TV panel. Next, I will replace the IR sensor located in the center of the TV here. I will start by disconnecting the cables.
the cable on the right just pulls straight out. After removing the cables, I can then pull the board gently straight out of the TV. Then I will need to remove the board from the metal case that it is in. Next, I will put my replacement board into that metal case and then slide the metal case back into place in the TV. Then, you can reconnect the two cables that are connected. You have now replaced all of the boards in this kit and you can put the back cover back on the TV.